All right, let's work on our case study for chapter 11. This will be the easiest case study we've ever done. The instructions barely take up a page and a half. And that's with images. Um, so if you look in your book on page 512, um, our task one is to create a folder, um, copy all those files all over. I've already done that for you. That's your um, Java Jam folder that's in your chapter 11 student files. So we need to start with task two, configure the CSS. Modify the external style sheet, javajam.css, open in a text editor, and I've done that already. We're going to create an audio element selector with block display and 1M of top margin. So let's um, scroll down to just before our media query. So I'm doing this after the um, my submit ID. And we'll use the audio selector to display block and margin top 1M. All right, that's it. That's the only CSS we're adding to this project. So we can go ahead and close that CSS. Task three says update the music page. So open music HTML in a text editor. Modify music HTML so that two HTML5 audio controls display. Refer to the hands-on practice 11-3 so you can go back to the tutorials if you don't remember how to do this to create an audio control. Configure an audio control with the div about Melanie to play the melanie.mp3 or .oog file and provide a hyperlink to the mp3 as fallback if the audio element is not supported. Configure the audio control within the div about Greg to play the greg.mp3 or greg.ogg file and provide a hyperlink to the greg mp3 file as a fallback if the audio element is not supported. Save your page, check it in the validator. Okay. So this is super easy. Let's um, scroll down. So in the div about Melanie, so right before that div closes, if we look at, at our file structure in your Java Jam folder, you have a Melanie.mp3 and a Melanie.ogg, and then you also have a Greg.mp3 and a Greg.ogg. Okay, so how do we create that audio? element. Well, if you forgot, again, you can go back to your tutorial, but here's the code. An audio tag, we set an attribute of controls equals to equal to controls that allows us to have that play and pause button. We use a source element, which is a void element. It does not have a closing source tag. Its SRC attribute is set to the file that you wish to play, and its type in this case is audio slash mpeg. Now our second is for the OGG file. Again a source tag with the SRC to the melanie.ogg file. Set our type to audio slash OGG. And then it asked us to create a link to the mp3 file for fallback content. So you, we use ahref the name of the file and then you can have some text in this case to download. And remember we said it's a good rule of thumb to include what the file type is before you ask the user to download. Okay, so let's take a look at what this looks like in the browser so far. Oh, beautiful. You wanna hear Melanie Morris's melodic folk style? Beautiful. Okay, let's do the same with Greg. Before our closing div, for um, the Greg section, we add an audio element with the attribute controls equals controls. And inside we have a source that links to the MP3, a source that links to the OGG, and then our anchor that will allow the user to download the file. So just like Melanie, only we are linking to different files. All right, if we view in the browser, let me refresh and now we have Greg so let's listen to his beautiful song are you ready to jam with Tahoe Greg
All right, I'll let you listen to those on your own. I know you're dying to. For the Fish Creek Project, you're, you will be adding a video. And for the Pacific Trails uh, Project, you will also be adding a video. Note the Pacific Trail does include a SWF file in the instructions. That's a flash file, but since flash has been um, outmoded, it's no longer used, I did not include that in your student files, and you would need to skip that part. So you can refer to um, the video tutorial, or I'll post the page numbers in the book where you can look back in the book. All right, this is all for chapter 11. Yay!